I was really interested in languages. In high school, I specialized in languages, and that led me to an interest in cultural difference, in cultural differences that were encoded in languages. As opposed to uh, just going straight through college and then straight through graduate school, I took time off. I took a couple of years off in the UK. I worked um, in positions which brought me into contact with a lot of people, but from a fairly sort of uh, l low position on the totem pole. I was a milkman for about uh, four or five months. I was a van driver for, an, for a year. I think it taught me um, to, uh, to listen, to listen to people's perspectives and not to impose my own perspective. I think that's perhaps the most critical thing to, to being an ethnographer. I had uh, traveled all around North America um, before I went to, uh, to college and became very interested in the persistence of uh, local Native American cultures. I fell in love with the Southwest, especially. My principal concentration is the present, and I work as a field worker, um, especially uh, at Hopi in Arizona. I interview people um, about their society, about their history, about their conceptions of the landscape. I'm interested in a whole variety of things about contemporary Hopi culture. But I'm also interested in how that has come to be and what the uh, particular recent history is that has produced what's happening in the present. Much of my earliest work was focused on the history of one village which grew up in 1909 after the split of its mother village, Oraivi, in 1906. Oraivi is the oldest continuously inhabited village in North America. Half the population left and eventually formed um, two new villages altogether. Bakavi was the one where, where I've spent most of my time. I was very interested and remain so in who those people were who founded Bakavi. I got some very interesting uh, narratives. Doing ethnographic field work with Pueblo people is very difficult and I was very privileged to be permitted to do it. As far as I can determine, I probably have conducted more ethnographic field work than anybody since the late 19th century when they pretty much said, no, we don't want any more of this. I think for, you know, an ethnographic the primary sort of uh, methodological approach uh, is participant observation. And that means you have to learn what the mores of communication are. You can't just show up with a questionnaire and expect to get good answers to your questions. You need to learn the, the processes uh, and the interests that people have in communicating with each other. I think learning those local um, mores of communication and interest are critical to any uh, good work uh, in, in ethnography.